Okay boys and girls, this is part two of your silver birch trees. Um, you'll get your project back and if there's any tissue paper squares left on it, just remove the tissue paper squares and then very carefully remove the masking tape. You'll find that the masking tape might just grab a little bit of the paper as well. So you can see how I'm just keeping my finger close and just pulling it across. You'll end up, even though the tape is straight, you can see you end up with sort of like this textural edge, very barky, and this is what we're going to do today, is we're going to pull that out. You're all going to get an ultra fine sharpie and you're going to go around that edge uh, and not straight, but you're actually going to follow that bumpy texture. So go all the way around. You're going to do that with every single tree. I'm just going to demonstrate with one tree so that you can see. So go all the way around. Okay, so imagine I've pulled the masking tape off of all of these here. And I'm giving it that barky, barky look, so just like the birch trees. I'm bringing it. Now, if you find that your trees, when you take the masking tape off, aren't as wide as these, it's possibly because you over flooded the paper. You will still see the shape of the tree, and I call it a ghost tree, still go round. The shape is still there, it's still visible, it's just in a paler colour. But if you've got it white, then all the better. Now, with a pencil first, you're going to do value up one side and you're going to use a horizontal line. We're going to do value in pencil, so we're going to do small, so I'm just going to imagine that my light is hitting on this side. So I'm going to do small vertical lines just on one side of my tree. Just nice little dashes. And you can leave a little gap and then tighten it up, leave a little gap and tighten it up. So you're getting variations, just like the birch tree itself in reality. And do here, so follow the, the direction of the branch, leave a little gap, and I'm going to do it here as well. Okay, now when you've got that, you should end up just like that there with the pencil you can see it's got that textural finish now with the bark but we haven't finished quite yet you're going to go to the box and you're going to get a piece of cardboard if I haven't given it to you so if I take a piece of cardboard and you're going to get some black paint what we're going to do is the same thing but up the other side now if I look at this piece of cardboard it's far much wider than the trunk I want it to be as thin as the little side so I'm going to just cut it and what I mean I want it to fit inside the tree trunk but not going over my pencil lines. So and then I'm going to dip it and I'm going to go up and I'm going to do basically the same thing as what I did with a pencil and I'm going to stamp it. I'm not using the cardboard as a paintbrush but as a printing block. I'm using the edge and same thing, tight, little gap, tight. So you can see if you find that your trees are different widths, maybe you use different thicknesses in masking tape, then change your cardboard out. Just get a new piece of cardboard, cut it. You don't want your cardboard piece to go out of the edge, the contour line of the shape of your tree. And when I take it up, I'm going to go round, do a little bit there. And you're going to do this to every tree that you've created. Do a little bit there. The very last thing, on every tree is because I've done the dark paint on one side I'm going to then create with my cardboard a stamp and I'm going to create just a shadow just some stamps like that and when you do that for every single tree you'll end up with your trees having value light to dark and then the shadow and then you're finished boys and girls there's your silver birch trees using bleeding tissue paper and black paint and pencils and masking tape. Now it's your turn. Let's finish our project.